In the book of Revelation chapter 12 through 14, the very final series of disasters is about to take place. It will be the toughest for the church. Demonic powers will gain a stronger grip on society than they have ever had before, even though their grip is about to be broken. Revelation chapter 12 through 14 introduces three persons who form an alliance to rule the world themselves. One is angelic in origin and nature, a great dragon and ancient serpent, otherwise known as Satan or the devil. Revelation 12, 9. And the great dragon was cast out, that old serpent, called the devil and Satan, which deceiveth the whole world. He was cast out into the earth, and his angels were cast out with him. The other two are human origin and nature, beasts, also known as Antichrist. 1 John 2, 18. Little children, it is the last time. And as ye have heard that Antichrist shall come, even now are there many Antichrists, whereby we know that it is the last time. He is also referred to as the man of lawlessness in 2 Thessalonians 2.3. Don't let anyone deceive you in any way, for that day will not come until the rebellion occurs and the man of lawlessness is revealed, the man doomed to destruction. And he is also called the false prophet, Revelation 16:13, And I saw three unclean spirits with frogs come out of the mouth of the dragon, and out of the mouth of the beast, and out of the mouth of the false prophet. Revelation 19:20, And the beast was taken, and with him the false prophet that wrought miracles before him, with which he deceived them that had received the mark of the beast, and received the mark of the beast, and them that worshipped his image. These both were cast alive into a lake of fire burning with brimstone. Revelation 20, 10 And the devil that deceived them was cast into the lake of fire and brimstone, where the beast and the false prophet are, and shall be tormented day and night for ever and ever.